Dear 7th graders, we are going to continue the chemical reaction lesson. Let's discuss together the second objective. What is a reactant and what is a Let's go back to the reaction between chalk and vinegar. What are the substances that exist at the beginning of the reaction? Chalk and vinegar. These substances are called reactants. So, reactants are substances that exist before the start of the reaction. Also, in the reaction between chalk and vinegar, what are the substances produced during the reaction? They are the released gas, water, and salt. These substances are called products. So, products are substances produced during the reaction. Let's talk about another example. These ingredients are transformed into these delicious cookies. So, the reactants here are the ingredients and the products are the cookies. During a chemical reaction, substances can be reactants or products. The reactants are substances present at the start of the reaction and the products are substances produced during a reaction. Now, let's discuss the third objective. How do we express a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction is expressed in words to form a word equation. Steps to write a word equation. Step 1. Reactants are written on the left side and products are written on the right side. Reactants, arrow, products. Step number 2. Use plus symbol to express the word and and arrow to express the word produce. Reactant 1 plus reactant 2. We put the plus between the reactants. Aro means produce the following product, product 1 and product 2. Let's go back to the reaction between chalk and vinegar. The reactants are chalk and vinegar. We put plus between the reactants in order to express the word equation. This is chalk and vinegar. We put plus between the reactants and an arrow to express produce. Produce salt, water, and gas. The word equation of this reaction is chalk plus vinegar give salt, water, and gas. This is the word equation.